So I just recently did a video on the find command at the uh, Linux command prompt in, in Bash in this case. Um, and I'm very surprised I hadn't done it before. Someone asked me to do it and I figured I had and I hadn't, but I do so many tutorials that I guess I lost track. Uh, and I'm very glad I did do the tutorial because there were a number of comments uh, of features that I was unaware of in the find command. And one of them which we're going to be going over today, uh, I am definitely going to find very useful and it's the execute command. So uh, for example, we use the find command. I'm going to do dash i name. So we're going to search by name. i name means case insensitive, so it doesn't care ca uh, case wise. And I'm going to do a search for MP3s in the directory I am in and all the subdirectories. So there you go. It lists all the MP3s in all the directories below where I am. Now, in the past, if I had wanted to uh, play each one of those songs, uh, using the find command, I would use the find command like that, then I would pipe it into a while loop, and I would read it, and I would create a variable, like music, and then I'd uh, send that through a loop with mplayer, and say the name of the variable, and blah blah blah, and it'd be this big long, I mean not huge, but a rather long command. Well, uh, the execute switch in find, so I can do find dash i name, then the name of the uh, the search parameters. So I'm looking for MP3s, but then I can do dash exec, and so then the next part of this is going to be the command that I want to run. So I'll say mplayer in this case, and then at this point is where the name of the file is going to go in. So I'm going to go with the squiggly brackets, open and close, space, and then backslash, and I will hit enter. Oh, and I will hit backslash semicolon I'll hit enter and right there it starts going through all the files it finds and playing them one at a time so I can do this and I can jump down to the uh, next song and just go through all my songs that way so once again I'll go over that command it's find dash I name because that's because we're searching by name and we're looking for all files that end in dot mp3 and as we find them, we're going to execute the command mplayer, and then we got squiggly bracket close, open close, space, backslash, semicolon. And that's where it's going to put in the name of the variable that, uh, or the file in this case, that we're going to play. So, I hope you found that useful. And I do want to mention the viewer that brought that up to me. Uh, I have his name here somewhere oh here we go uh, Tuxbro was the one that brought that up to me and I appreciate that thank you very much Tuxbro uh, I am going to use this command or this switch in the find command quite often and it's going to shorten up a lot of my code thank you very much and for more video tutorials like this visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info have a great day